Hey everybody, Carl here. This is uh, just a quick update video. So, I'm just gonna run through everything in the garage real quick. And then uh, I'm gonna start getting back to making videos here soon. It's been an interesting to do it, and I just haven't gotten it done yet. So the Elan's body is off the frame. The engine is out of the frame. Transmission's out of the frame. I haven't really done a whole lot. Been ripping apart front suspension. Working on sandblasting and painting suspension components haven't gotten all of it done yet I picked this up if you follow my Instagram which is the same name as the channel it's all over there but this is real quick this is a 1965 Suzuki re5 got rid of my Triumph Spitfire and then impulse bought this the next day I found it on Facebook marketplace for a screaming deal so it hasn't run since 1986 currently runs. I just don't have it set up right now to run because I'm in the middle of uh, going through the fuel tank, cleaning that up, and getting a bunch of little fiddly stuff done. So it runs, idles. It's a video of that on my uh, Instagram. I might upload that video to YouTube as well. Um, I finally got a big old air compressor so I could run a little uh, blast cabinet. Got a ghetto dust collection system on it right now and it doesn't work too well so i'm going to be going through that and trying to figure it out got this big corner of the garage cleaned up i got another big air compressor that i need to fix and eventually plumb in and i'll probably get rid of that one because it's got a harbor freight head on it this thing should perform a lot better so there's one more addition of the fleet and it's another jeep so that's a 1988 YJ, because I missed my old YJ enough to do that. So, yeah, so this is just a nitty gritty quick update video. Oh, and I'm currently building a rotisserie for the body of the Elan. So, I've currently got it laid out, tacked together. I need to uh, build the uprights, build some structure to it, and then build the part that's actually going to rotate up here and then the arms to mount it to the body so this side of the car I've got partially stripped away I found out that the whole front end of the car has been replaced from where it's cracking through there you can see that seam doesn't line up doesn't line up on this side either you can see that seam right there so over here, this is the original fiberglass, then the gel coat, then it was primer, yellow, primer, green. This side is just bare fiberglass, primer, green. That would probably also explain why the front end got all these little blisters. This headlight cover's been replaced because it's the same, same story. It's fiberglass, primer, paint so it's got a little bondo but then this one goes down a gel coat and the uh, paint coming off it was a little different than just this front so whole car is going to got to get stripped down further and go through and do all the fiberglass work and all that happy fun stuff so I'm looking forward to being more active on the channel I'm close to a thousand subscribers so I got to thank everybody for watching and putting up with my inability to post. I should be posting often because of right now it's corona pandemic. So a lot of people are sitting at home and a lot of people have uh, time for YouTube now. So I should be filming more but I just have been slacking. I've been doing a lot around here but I've just been slacking filming any of it. It's kind of it's been a little annoying to lug the camera around recently. So I'm going to start getting back on that and uh make some actual interesting, exciting content that I'm proud of for once. So thanks for bearing with me and um, stay tuned. Cool stuff's gonna happen.